Hello there, this is Jocelyn Gallegos, your PE teacher. For today's activity, we'll be doing some introduction of mini soccer game, okay? So soccer, it is the fast pace of uh, doing the strategy game played by many men, women, and kids. It is a uh, professional leagues have gained a millions of fans around the world. It is also considered as a major sport as well known and widely, uh, widely played uh, in almost all regions. All right, okay, so we will be doing only the basic skills. We're gonna focus on the basic skills, all right? So we're gonna, we will learn dribbling, passing, receiving the ball, how are we going to control the ball, and shooting, okay? So those are the skills that you will be learning for today's activity. Okay, before we start our activity, what are the materials needed? Okay, one, you will be needing one soccer ball. Okay, two, you will be needing cone markers, six pieces, all right? So I have my six markers there. Now, if you don't have the cone markers in your house, you can use water bottle, okay? You can use water bottle, okay? Or if you don't have the water bottle and you can, you are not allowed to use the water bottle, please, you can use your shoes. Now, if you can, if you can't, you, if you are not allowed to use your shoes, you can use caution or uh, a paper. You can use a paper, just get six and put it in the, in this straight line like this, okay? And uh, make it sure that there is a distance for this each count or each markers of yours, okay? So first, before we start our drills, we are going to do with our warm up exercise, okay? So first, we're gonna do we're gonna do the zigzag run, and then when we reach to the end, to the other side, we will do a jumping jacks, five jumping jacks, and then come back, and then we're gonna do this for five times. All right. So warm up first, dynamic warm up, and then we begin our uh, activity for today. All right. Okay. Here we go. This time you will do zigzag but doing back kick, okay? And run. Going back. Back kick again. Back kick three. Kick four. But kick five. All right, we will do skipping. Four, 
Last one for skip. All right. Next, we're gonna do. We're gonna do jumping jacks, but sideways on that side. All right. Run. Again. Last one. Five. All right. This time we're gonna do dynamic lunges. Okay. We do this. go back. Just do this. Crisscross of your arms. Lunges. This last one. Starting with the right foot. Keep whirl, we're gonna do this. All right, alternate right and left, but zigzag. Here we go. And then coming back, but go straight. You did great. Now we're gonna do breathing. All right. We're gonna do soccer kicking breathing. All right. When we breathe in, out. All right, again, breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. Last one. All right. Any breathing that you can do, it's my experimental, okay? Any breathing that you feel like to do it, you can use it, okay? So after this warm up, the dynamic stretching, all you have to do is you have to refuel your, yourself. You have to drink water. It's very hot in here. All right. Okay. All right, so the first skills that we are going to do is the dribbling, all right? So the dribbling, make it sure that you are using your inside foot. So what is this inside foot? All right, so the inside foot is here, in so. So you're gonna use this. We have inside foot and outside foot. Okay, do you think we can pass outside foot? Can we do this? Yes, we can. All right. So we are going to do this first. Okay. If you cannot jump, this is another modification of doing this. All right. But it's not challenging though. If you're gonna do this and you're just this and this and pass this way, dribbling like this way. Okay, no. This is what you're gonna do. Okay. But you have to make it sure that you have in control of your ball all the time. Your feet is the one we're going to control, your ball, not your hand. 
you are not allowed to use your hand. Okay, so we're gonna try it, okay? I'm gonna keep my ball going to the side. Doing this, All right? So I am using my inside foot again. So it is a combination of running, kicking, all right. Okay. So ball tap. Okay, ball tap is this way. It's either you have to do this. Roll your ball this way. All right. So I'm going to try to ball tap, rolling forward, zigzag ways, going to the other side. You can do this. Let's try it together. foot dribbling or passing okay now so that is the inside foot okay now this time we will be doing the receive but i don't have a partner this is what i'm gonna do i will pass the ball receive the ball in control that means trap trapping means you have to trap your ball like this if someone let's say let's pretend excuse me let's pretend that there's someone who passed the ball coming from that side okay someone passed the ball coming from that side and you're gonna drop the ball like this you are stopping the ball this way on the side drop that means to stop you are in control with your ball when you kick make it sure it's either gonna use your insole or you know the show lace do you have make it sure you hit your ball on the side Okay, you have two options. It's either on the side, the inside foot, or you have to hit it on the front. Okay? So, I'm gonna do this four, 10 times against the wall. So I'm gonna show you the wall on the side. Yeah? Can you see that? So here we go. So I will be kicking the ball on the side. And I'm trying to drop it with in control with my feet, pa passing, receiving, and controlling or dropping. Here we go. Drop. Okay. Drop. I don't have a partner. So, if you don't have a partner, make it sure that when you kick your ball, Make it sure that when you kick your ball to your wall, make it sure that you are not hitting your house equipment, TV, you're not hitting any chandelier, or you're not hitting the flower base. Play or go to your safe playing area. Play the mini soccer game into a safe playing area. You are not allowed to play inside your dining or into your bedroom because it's too small all you have to do is to go maybe outside all right in your backyard you can play with this all right again we're gonna do this at least 20 times learn how to pass the ball learn how to control the ball learn how to stop the ball all right here we go again since i don't have the partner i'm trying to kick my ball against to the wall so that it can come back to me then i'm trying to receive and then control and then pass it again. A combination of passing, receiving, and trapping. Good. Three. Four. Five. 
So making sure that there is a there is a force because if you do if you don't give force on your kicking, the ball will not come back to you. Give force. comfortable of using or passing using with my inside foot. I feel very strong here than using this front. Okay, so it's up to you which one do you feel like using it? Inside foot or front? So that's it, very easy, okay? Ball dropping, ball receiving, ball passing, and then you are in control with your uh, ball. All right, this time we are going to try to practice mini games on shooting. Now, since you have a goalie at home, you will be needing a chair as one of your goalie, okay? So this time, let's say, let us practice. But before you shoot, okay, before you shoot, all you have to do is to make it sure that huh, uh, your ball, okay, your ball is gonna go inside your chair, all right? So let's say if you are using this chair, let's say that you are using this chair, this chair, okay? So make it sure that your ball goes inside. Now, if I am using this goalie, Perfect. It's very perfect for me. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the other side with this camera so that you can see if I did a good goal or no. All right, so this time facing on that side, all right? So I will be bringing my ball on this side and I'm trying to shoot this goalie, all right? So let's see. So Sigsa, you are going to use, you are going to use your cone marker, do the drill, zigzag ways, and then when you reach to the end, then I mean the last part of your cone marker, then you have to shoot your soccer ball to words to your goalie. Ready? Okay, so make it sure that you are in a good mood of controlling your ball. So we're gonna do this this way. Oopsie. And the side. And try to, yeah, so that's it. That's what you're gonna do. So since I have, since I have a big goalie, the soccer goal that I have, it's very challenging for you if you are using chair. I suggest use two chairs and then the distance in between, five footsteps, okay? Five footsteps, two chairs. In between of that, that is your goalie. Good, We're gonna, I'm gonna redo it again. I'm going to put at least like a timer, like a one minute timer, and then I'm going to start. So one minute challenge. Let's see if I can shoot as many as I can within one minute. Okay. Here we go. It begins in three, two, one.
did three within one minute because the space is very huge. Okay, for sure on your side, you can do a lot and you can do better than me. I'm sure, I'm sure of that. Now, so you learn dribbling, passing, receiving, ball in control, kicking, and shooting. Now, are we allowed to use our hands when we play soccer? Yes or no? Give me a thumbs up if a yes. Give me a thumbs down if a no. Okay. Now, what are the different body parts that we are allowed to use? Forehead, your chest. Are we allowed to use our arms this way? Are we? Give me a thumbs up if yes. Give me a thumbs down if no. Okay. Now, I didn't teach you how to do the knee bouncing the ball or tripling and then the drills, which is a little bit hard, but I'm going to try it. Either you're going to do this or this on your, on your feet. So again, you have to try to be like you're going to be in control of your ball. Okay, so you can practice this one, this is scales, but the most imp important thing is you have to learn the, the basic skills. Kicking, passing, receiving, and shooting. That's the most important. And also how you're gonna control your ball. Okay, I hope you, I hope you at least understand and uh, uh, execute it properly in your own way okay i know it's very hard to do it especially when you're do when we are doing this online but in the future maybe we can do this for real thank you so much i hope you had fun bye